All right, so we have some extreme cases of elasticity that we're going to want to discuss. And these are more theoretical than practical. And the first one we're going to talk about is a little difficult for us to wrap our brains around. And it is the perfectly horizontal curve that is known as the perfectly elastic demand curve. Ooh. The perfectly elastic demand curve means that the so perfectly elastic is essentially meaning it's like the perfect cell, you know, it's like the super, super elastic, right? Very, very responsive to any kind of changes in price. And so specifically, it's very responsive to any kind of increase in price. So th th it's essentially saying this is the market price. This is the market price. And if you try to sell something above the market price, you're going to be selling zero units, right? You're going to be selling zero units if you try to sell anywhere above. So if the market price is five and you try to sell a cup of coffee for six, you're going to sell zero cups. If you try to sell a cup, cup, cup of coffee for seven, you're going to sell zero cups. So five is the price where, and then because it's perfectly elastic, it's got this weird characteristic that you can sell any number of cups you want to at $5. So it's zero for, for anything that is above its, its price, right? So it's zero for anything above, and then it's infinity for when the price is actually at P. So it's infinity, quantity demanded at uh, P star, which again doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense, but you know, it's, it's theoretical. Our second kind of extreme case for elasticity is the situation where we have a perfectly vertical demand curve. And we call this the perfect inelasticity. Demand curve. Or the other way we talk about this is we also talk about it as the zero elasticity. Demand curve. The zero elasticity demand curve is because there's going to be zero change in the price or a change in the quantity demanded the quantity demanded is always going to be at this equilibrium regardless of what the price is if you charge five dollars you're going to be selling q star if you charge eight dollars you're going to be selling q star if you charge two dollars you're going to be selling q star so it is there's going to be zero percentage change in the quantity demanded regardless of the price increases or decreases. All right, everyone. I will see you on Wednesday.